Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've seen how to divide by a fraction, let's go and try some examples. The first one is 9 fifteenths divided by 3 fifths. And again, the rule is when you divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by its inverse. So this becomes 9 over 15 multiplied times the inverse of 3 fifths is 5 over 3. All you do is simply flip the fraction around. Now you can see that you can do so simplification before you multiply things together. We have a 3 and a 9, so 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 5 and 15, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Oh, and you can continue to simplify, because 3 and 3 can be divided by 3, this becomes 1, this becomes 1, and finally you get 1 times 1 divided by 1 times 1, which is simply 1. So 9 fifteenths divided by 3 fifths is equal to 1. Let's try this one here. Again, dividing by a fraction, same as multiplying by its inverse. 3 fourths multiplied times 24 over 9. And again, before you multiply the numerators together and the denominators together, you want to simplify as much as you can. 3 and 9 are both divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 4 and 24, they can both be divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And now you can see 6 and 3, they can be both divided by 3. You can continue to simplify. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And finally, you can say 1 times 2 divided by 1 times 1, which is equal to 2. Let's try that one over there. So 1 7 divided by 3 to 3 elevenths, that's the same as writing 1 over 7 times 11 over 3. Here we cannot simplify anything. We simply continue by multiplying the numerators together. 1 times 11 divided by 7 times 3, which is 21. And the answer is 11 21sts, or 11 21 Is that how you say it? Not quite sure. Anyway, 2 thirds divided by 6. Think of it as being a fraction. Think of this as being 2 thirds divided by 6 over 1. You can always take an integer and divide it by 1 and nothing changes because 6 divided by 1 is still 6. Now you're going to multiply by its inverse. This then becomes 2 thirds times 1 over 6. Now you see that the 2 and the 6, they have something in common. 2 can be divided by 2 to become 1. 6 can be divided by 2 to become 3. Now you work out the multiplication. 1 times 1 is equal to 1, and 3 times 3 is equal to 9. The answer is 1 9 2 thirds divided by 6, therefore, is equal to 1 9 So it's pretty simple. Whenever you have to divide by a fraction, you simply flip the fraction over, taking its inverse, and you multiply instead of divide, and you get the correct answer. And that's how it's done.